I love chips and my girlfriend loves mash, so we grow a lot of potatoes each year. Anyone can grow potatoes, and you start by either buying some seed potatoes online or in a shop, or by placing some shop-bought potatoes into an egg box, like so, and this is called chitting. You'll be planting them about 30 centimetres apart, so keep this in mind when deciding how many potatoes you want to chit. Place this in a dry, light location. I chit my potatoes at the start of March, and over the next few weeks, you'll see the sprouts starting to grow around the potato. A month after putting these out to chit, they should be ready to go into the ground. This is my raised deep root planter. Over the winter I grow leeks in here, but in the summer I like to grow potatoes. You can also plant them into large pots filled with compost. Give your growing area good water. This will ensure that the potatoes have as much moisture as they need to start growing. Depending on your skill level, a cat may come along to give the area a quick check over. Lay your potatoes in the growing area just to get an idea of where you're going to be planting them. Potatoes are thirsty plants so I'd recommend planting fewer further apart if you're unsure. I've got a hay mulch on top of the soil here to suppress weeds and to keep the soil below from drying out too quick. You don't need to do this but I've found it very effective. To plant your potatoes, move a handful of the mulch out the way, dig a hole with a trowel around double the depth of the potato you're planting, drop the potato into the hole, cover it back up with soil and press down, and then put the mulch back on top. Easy right? I'll show you again. Mulch, hole, potato, cover, press down and mulch. The good thing about growing potatoes, and why they're a great choice if you're new to growing your own food, is because they grow so quickly, they cover the soil with their foliage, so you rarely need to worry about weeds. One thing to look out for though is watering, especially if you're using a planter like this. The soil will dry out quickly, and you need to keep on top of checking it often, probably daily in the summer. The shoots will take a couple of weeks to show, so in the meantime keep them free of any weeds and just be patient. About three weeks after planting, the shoots will start to show. I told you they grow quick. Four weeks after planting, the leaves are open and the plants are starting to take in energy. Over the next month, they'll double in size each week until the foliage has completely filled their available space. Eight weeks after planting, and we're at the start of June now. The sun is shining and the energy is now going into growing lots of roots. Keep the soil nice and moist and check each day on really sunny days and water if needed. An easy way to see if it needs a water is to stick your finger down into the soil. If it comes out dry and clean, it needs a good water. It's now the start of July, about 12 weeks after planting. You may have some dead or damaged foliage, which can easily be removed. You can either cut or pull it away from the plant to keep it tidy, and to allow more light in and to increase the airflow around the leaves. Now you've got two options when you get to July. You can harvest them when the flowers show for an early potato, or you can wait until the foliage goes yellow for your main crop potatoes, which will be larger. Now I need to be honest here, I was an idiot, and after 20 weeks of recording this growing diary, I harvested the potato and forgot to record it. However, luckily, I did record last year's in the same location, so the following footage is from then. Harvesting takes a little time, but it's not difficult. Give yourself plenty of space and pop some gloves on. Start by pulling up all of the foliage. If potatoes come up with the foliage, then collect them and place them in a bowl or a tray. You may find these brown shriveled potatoes as you go. These are the potatoes that you initially planted, so don't collect these, because they can't be eaten. Now once you've removed the foliage, you need to collect up all the potatoes that are in the soil. If you're growing in the ground instead of a pot or a planter, you'll want to push a gardening fork into the ground and lever up the potatoes, being careful not to damage or stab them. If you've grown them in a planter like me, dig a deep trench at one end with your hands and collect any potatoes that you spot. You'll be surprised how deep you can find them. And then move the trench along the planter until you've uncovered them all. 
If you find any tiny potatoes, make sure you remove them too, as they will try to grow if left in place. I think I planted around 12 potatoes in here in the end, and they were all ones that I had rolling around in the cupboard anyway. These were earlies, and you can expect larger potatoes if you leave them until the foliage dies back. It really depends on what size potato you want. You don't need to wash these, just brush off any soil and then store them in a dark cool place, where they'll last a few months. I usually chip some more potatoes in June, and I can squeeze in a second harvest by the end of the year. I hope this gave you the confidence to grow your own potatoes. This is just one and a very simple method, but there are more involved ways of growing potatoes where you'll probably get a larger harvest. If you learned anything or have any tips for growing potatoes, please leave them in the comments so we can all learn together. Thank you to my patrons for their support, and here are a couple of other videos which you may be interested in. As always, thank you for your time, and happy growing!